Hello everybody, welcome to Trans E-Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll discuss about Boyle's Law and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to Boyle's Law. This is the fifth video related to practice problems. So let's start. Is the first question. First of all, we should recall the steps that is reading the question properly and analyzing what is given and what needs to be found. A container of oxygen, that means this is a container which contains oxygen, has a volume of 30 milliliter and a pressure of 500,000 Pascal. If the pressure of the oxygen gas is reduced, as you can see here, we are moving the piston outward so the pressure will get reduced and the volume will get increased. So if the pressure of the oxygen gas is reduced to 28 psi, so the pressure is reduced to 28 psi. psi stands for pounds per square inch which is a common unit of pressure. Here you can see that the pressure is given in Pascal and the decreased pressure is 28 uh, PSI and the temperature is kept constant. What is the new volume of the oxygen gas? That means we have to find the volume corresponding to this new pressure. First of all, we're going to analyze what is given and what needs to be fine. The pressure 1 is 500,000 Pascal and the volume 1 is 30 liter in this tank and then the pressure 2 which is the decreased pressure is 28 psi and the volume 2 we need to find. Now the second thing is we need to check units. Here the units are different so we need to convert these units into a common unit. Now if you see call the video related to conversion of pressure in that I have compared all other units with one basic unit of pressure that is one atmosphere. So if you see one atmosphere is equals to 101.325 Pascal and one atmosphere is equals to 14.7 PSI. Because I cannot convert uh, Pascal into PSI though I can but it will be a lengthy procedure doing that because as such I don't have any direct conversion unit of converting Pascal into PSI or vice versa like PSI converting PSI into Pascal. So what I have to do is that like if I have to convert Pascal into PSI I have to first convert into atmosphere. I have to convert Pascal into atmosphere then I have to convert atmosphere into PSI or if I have to convert PSI into Pascal then again I have to convert PSI into atmosphere and then atmosphere into Pascal. So why do you take a longer route? What we're gonna do here we can convert Pascal into atmosphere and we can convert PSI into atmosphere directly so the pressure 1 and the pressure 2 will have the same units as atmosphere that we can use. First of all I will be converting Pascal into atmosphere as shown in the video uh, of for the conversion of one unit into another I have mentioned that what needs to get converted is always divided and in the unit uh, in which we want to convert that unit always get multiplied. First of all we need to convert the Pascal so we'll write the Pascal here into in, we want to convert atmospheric unit so I will write here one atmosphere. Now I will divide by this unit. Now what is the relation between the Pascal and the atmosphere is that one atmosphere is equals to 101325 Pascal so I will write here 325 Pascal and uh, what is the value that we need to convert is this 500,000 so I will write here 500 like a very uh, short form I'm telling you for the detail you can watch the video for the conversion of units. Unit Pascal Pascal will get nullified. All we need to do is just divide now. So we will get the value as 4.93 atmosphere. So the pressure 1 in atmosphere is 4.93 atmosphere converting PSI into atmosphere. Now the unit PSI will get divided 
and the atmosphere will get multiplied. So I'll start with PSI because I have to convert this one into atmosphere. Now what is the relation between the atmosphere and the PSI is 14.7. So this is 14.7 PSI and which value we need to convert? We need to convert 28. So this is 28. So now the unit PSI and PSI will get nullified. We will get the answer in the unit atmosphere. All we need to do is divide. So we will get the answer as 1.90 atmosphere. So the pressure to you in atmosphere is 1.90 atmosphere. Now we have the pressure 1 and the pressure 2 uh, in same unit that is atmosphere. We can substitute this value in Boyle's law here. Now as the temperature is constant so Boyle's law can be applied we need to just substitute the values. Pressure 1 is 4.93 atmosphere and the volume 1 is 30 milliliter the pressure 2 is 190 atmosphere and we need to find the volume. So here the volume will be 4.93 atmosphere into 30 milliliter that is divided by 1.90 atmosphere. The unit atmosphere atmosphere which is a unit of pressure will get nullified and we will get the answer that the volume in milliliter. So the volume 2 will be 4.93 into 30 ml divided by 1.90 atmosphere. So I will get the final value as 77.84 milliliter. If you want to write and uh, after rounding off it can be 78 milliliter. If you want to write in liter, so you just have to either divide the, this one or the round of one by a thousand. So I'll show you both of them. This is 77.84 divided by thousands. You will get the value as uh, 0 0.0778 liter. So if you divide your 78 by 1000 you will get uh, 0 0.078 liter. So these are the value in liter like in case you want to write them. Part 1 ends here. For other questions you can watch the second part of this video.